All right. Mute. So you guys know the deal. Unmute when you want. Otherwise, the voice doesn't come through clearly. So today we are going to um, use tennis balls at the end, which is going to be super duper nice because your backs are going to need it. Um, you'll see. We're going to have variations of compass pose. So that's our practice. And we're going to do some really cool, um, learn some really cool techniques that help you get into poses deeper, depending upon um, your hips, favorable or unfavorable for certain postures. So we're going to start uh, laying on our backs. So get there. And this is a 45 minute class today. So once you get onto your backs, just move your balls out of the way for now. I'd like you to start with just some even ratio breath. Even ratio breath, meaning an even inhale through the nose. And let's stay in the nose today. Even exhale through the nose. Just for food for thought, if you are trying to calm down, you want your exhales to be longer than your inhales. And if you're trying to wake up your energy, you want your inhales to be longer than your exhales. For our practice today, I would like you to strive for number one, to keep breathing. <laughs> There's gonna be times you're gonna hold your breath because you're gonna try really hard to do some really cool things. See if you can catch those moments. And that's kind of really cool because that weaves a web into meditation. And now from here, I'd like you to bring yourself into happy baby, which means grab the outsides of both feet. Yep. And I'd like you to bring some movement into your happy baby. So if Joe don't know what I'm talking about, right? This guy. Head is on the floor. <laughs> yep. And then you're gonna bring your tailbone down towards the sticky mat. And I want you to kind of bicycle your legs. So kind of pull one knee in a little deeper and then do the other one. And just get into the joints of the hips. And then I want you to look at your knees. If your knees flare out quite a bit in Happy Baby, you are a glute dominant person. If your knees stay together and you can get your hips kind of, you know, still good and low, you're hamstring dominant. So I could probably guess some of you because of you practicing with me for quite some time. And now I'd like you to just find stillness. Yeah. And push that tailbone towards the ground. Really feel the hips and what's going on in them. And then I'd like you to release the left leg to the floor. Bring the right shin horizontal to the chest. Grab the outside of the right foot with the left hand and just gently rock left and right. So it's kind of like a laying down pigeon pose. You see that, Tessa? So I've got the left, the right foot in the left hand. The left leg is on the ground and I'm just rocking it around. And then after a couple rocks, lift the right leg straight up to the sky. Make big circles with the right leg. Kind of stir the bone into the hip joint. Go both directions, really big circles. Try not to touch the floor. Three big circles. Now yep. just loosen her up. Good, and then bring the right leg down to the floor. Bring the left leg up. Turn the shin horizontal to the chest, the left shin. Grab the outside of the left foot with the right hand, if that's possible. And then just kind of rock and roll left and right. So just move the hips left and right, kind of finding that nice external rotation in the left hip here. And then go ahead, release the left foot, make big circles with the left leg. You gotta really find some big mobility to find some space in those hips. Go big circles both directions. Good. And then bring both knees into the chest, both knees in. Hold on to the shins if you'd like. And then I'd like you to rock all the way up to seated. And you're gonna come into that 90-90. Admit, uh, we have another participant. Okay, you're gonna be on 90-90. You're gonna have your right leg outside the right hip. Left leg is externally rotated in front of the belly. I want you to press both knees down into the floor. If you need to put your hands somewhere and keep your posture straight, I don't want you dumping into the left hip. Do that. And then I want you to lift up the right foot. Press the right knee down. Just lift up the right foot and then bring it down. 
So you're massaging this right groin, which also has a double whammy of um, goodness. You're getting into the lymph of that groin. The big groin um, lymph pockets and then the armpits are huge pots for toxins to build up. So think of them as releasing now. Whoops. Okay, and then we're gonna do a really cool little movement. Hands behind your hips. Not that cool, don't get too excited. Lift the knees and just simply switch sides. <laughs> Straighten out the torso. You're kind of facing away from me, that's okay. Press the left knee down, and then bring the left foot up and down. So pump the left hip to an internal rotation. So you're facing away from the camera more than likely. And just pump the left foot up and down. Keep the left knee grounded. Yeah, it's harder than, it, than it, you would think it would be to get this internal rotation. Jack, you got this girl, I can't tell from your body. I think you're good. You can't hear me? Oh, you can. Okay. She says, ignore her. Good. <laughs> All right. And then bring yourself back to facing forward. Yep. And we're going to go into table up. So hands under shoulders, knees on the hips. Good. And then we're going to go ahead and lift up the right leg. Open it up into a fire hydrant. Bring it back down and in. Lift up the right leg, open it up like a fire hydrant, bring it down into the chest and down. And then just keep going. So it's kind of like a big circle, but adding a little bit of core activation. When you get to the core activation, I want you to pull the pelvic floor muscles in or try to encourage your mula bandha, right? Which is going to be like a kegel. And then bring the right knee down. Do the same thing on the other side. Left leg goes up, fire hydrant it out. Close it in, core, kegel, left leg up and back. And keep going, a few circles. We're really just trying to get the mobility in the joint. Not necessarily just flexibility, but we want lots of motion, hi Jess, within the body, within the holes of the body. Good. Well, the holes of the legs in the body. Good, downward dog, let it go. I have to be careful if I say holes with this group, good Lord. <laughs> Let your neck go, relax. Okay, lift the right leg to the sky. Yep, and I want you to internally rotate it so don't let that right hip flare out. And then bring the right foot in between your hands. Get that right hip nice and low, lift up to a crescent lunge or a high lunge. Yep, and then bring the hands back down, lift the right leg up. Yep. And I want you to lift it up like with purpose. Don't just fling it to say, yeah, it's in the sky. Lift it with muscles in your butt and your hammies. And then bring the right foot in between your hands again, left heel down, warrior two. And then right hand down, left hand down, three-legged dog again, right leg up. We're gonna move the leg in all different directions. Right foot in between your hands, left heel down, side angle, left arm over the head. Right hip plugs back into the left heel. So really rotate it, curl it under, press through the left foot, scoop in your heel muscles. Good, left hand down, right leg to the sky. Right foot in between your hands. Squeeze the inner thighs, left hand plants down, right arm opens up, twist. Turn on the muscles in the right hip by increasing your adductors. <laughs> Good, right hand down, three-legged toe. Good, lift it up. Belly tight, hug in the hip. Right foot down in between your hands. Left leg up, standing on the right leg. Good, left leg all the way back, right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. And then right foot in between your hands, triangle, which means straighten out the right leg. Left heel comes down, slightly point the left toes forward, hug that right hip back in line. <laughs> Lift the left arm up, right hand on the ground, outside the foot, on the big toe, on the shin, on a block, whatever feels good. Stretch out the pocket of the groin. Good, and then bring that left hand down. Square your hips, lift your left heel so that your toes are slightly pointed forward. Plant your left hand down to the ground, right hand to the hip. Plug the hip back, turn your chest, lift the right arm up, rotate. Good. And then three-legged dog, right hand down, right leg up. Good. And modify when needed. You 
all know this. Good. Right leg down beside the left. Shift forward into your first plank. Now pause in your plank. Pop your heart out. So sometimes we like hug our shoulders toward the inner lobes and we've got this like protection thing going. No, expose. Lower down to your belly for your first one. Inhale, expose again the heart. Squeeze the elbows back for a cobra. Press your feet into the floor and then downward dog. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose with that equal ratio breath, don't hold. Good, left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. And then pause again. Good, internally rotate that left hip so that you aren't um, like just going for flexibility. We want mobility, yes. Left foot in between your hands, high lunge or crescent lunge. Rising up, good. Getting lots of, of the hip um, security here. Hands to the floor, left leg to the sky, we go. Hug it in again, good. Left foot in between your hands, right heel comes down, left butt plugs to the right heel, warrior two, right hand over the right ankle, left hand extends out, gaze forward, shoulders down. I want you to articulate the spine here, meaning draw the shoulders back and down, turn on the muscles, good. There you go. Left hand down, right hand down, left leg to the sky. Same as before. We're making our way to side angle. Left hand down between the hands, right heel down. Right arm up and over the ear. So for some of you, that's crazy. So left forearm right on top of the leg, it's okay. Spin the ribs open towards the ceiling, even the left one. Rotate, rotate, make it a twist. Yeah, good, left hand. Right hand down, left leg up, three like a dog. Got two more. Left foot in between your hands. Right heel down, left leg straight, triangle, right arm up. Lengthen. So there's something that happens where we get kind of lazy in our hips. Push through the hips long. Make your spine from your tailbone straight out through the crown of your head. Yeah, Kegel. Find your Kegel, that will adjust it naturally. Perfect. Good, right hand down, right leg up to the sky. Standing on the left leg. Good. Lift it high. Right leg back, a big jump. Left leg to the sky, lift it. Lift it high, belly tight. Left foot in between your hands one last time. Right heel down, left leg straight. Pivot the hips to be even with the front of your mat. Right hand to the floor, left hand to your hip, revolve back, turning through your triangle. Left arm can go up if you still feel stable. Good. Left hand down, we're going through a full vinyasa this time. Step the right leg forward. Inhale, lengthen, pop your heart out. Exhale, forward fold, press into the balls of the feet. Don't just go into the heels, you want the feet pressing equally. Good, inhale, all the way up, mountain pose. Gentle smile, keep yourself integrated. Good, exhale, pass through the heart. Down you go. Lengthen. If you're feeling extra poppy, you can bring your heels to your rear bend, step or jump back. Shit, I don't know. That was a lousy one, but whatever. Up dog, if it's in your practice, this means everything is lifted. Heart's coming forward, shoulders are going back, then downward dog. Otherwise, you're lowering to your belly, keeping your pelvis on the floor, and only peeling up your spine. And that's going to be a safer version if you've got lower back tenderness. Okay, here we go. Right leg to the sky. Right foot outside right hand. Turn the right toes out. Squeeze the right knee into your arm. Press the left heel back. Get strong. Get long through your spine. We remember this one from last week, I think. Right arm underneath the right thigh. Press the right tricep onto the right thigh. Feel that right foot push down into the floor. Stay here or left hand to the hip or left arm out to the side and just fly for a second. Good, left hand down, right hand down, right leg to the sky. Good. Right leg in between your hands, again. Left heel down. Left hand outside right foot. 
right hand to your hip, turn and look to the left heel and kind of play with your hips. So I kind of want you to stick it out, be fancy or sexy, and then pop it back. And then lengthen your chest where you feel like your belly smooths out. Yeah. Then right arm up. Keep plugging in. Yeah. And then bring the right hand to the hip, right hand to the floor. Plank. Good. Chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. So cobra, remember your legs are down, your pelvic is down. Your chest is going forward, your shoulders are going back. And then downward dog. Left leg goes to the sky, please. Left foot in the, I'm oh, sorry, outside left hand. Get strong through the right heel. Pull in your Kegel. So kind of don't let your hips get lazy. You want long, long, strong hips here. Lengthen your spine, send your shoulders back, navel in. Left arm cross under the left thigh. I'm gonna face you all a bit this way. Yep. Keep your head kind of poking forward. Don't crimp up the neck. Right hand to the hip and find balance. So your right heel is up in lizard, yes. Good, find the strength in your legs, your inner thighs. Good. Right hand down to the floor. Left hand down to the floor, left leg to the sky. Lots of hip work. Left foot in between your hands, right heel down. Right hand outside left foot. Left hand to your hip, stick your butt out, and then pop it right back in. Stick your butt out, pop it right back in, get flat in your navel, suck it in. Lengthen your spine, turn your chest to the left. If you want, you can lift the left arm. Yep, and then left arm goes back down. Right arm goes back down, plank, pause. Chaturanga, I'm gonna take that one this time. Up dog, chin lifts up last. Take a moment and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Take another breath. Down the dog, shift back. Good. Okay, I'd like you to lift the right leg to the sky. Step the right foot in between your hands. Lift the left leg up to the sky. Lift the left knee up in front of the chest. We do this all the time. Come up to standing. Meow. Hope you can still see me. Grab the bottom of the left foot with both hands. Both hands. Yep. So you're going to bend through the right knee. You're going to probably have to bring the foot down a couple times so you get it. Extend the left leg out, still holding on both hands. And that is straight up through the right leg and get tall. Push the leg into your hip. Almost feel like your butt is popping out a little bit, but then point the tailbone down. Good. Left knee bends back in. Right arm goes up. Hold on to that left foot, bring it back. Dancer pose, hold. Press the foot into the hand, spread the chest out, fingers out, pushing. Good. Left foot down, left arm up. Forward fold, release. Lengthen. Step or jump back, your option. Hips back. Chaturanga to up dog. And then down the dog. So your heart should start pumping. We should have some circulation by now. <laughs> left leg up to the sky, por favor. Left foot in between your hands. Right leg standing splits. Hands are to the floor. Yep. Kiss your knee for a second. Yeah, really lift that tailbone up. Get that opposing effect. Good. And then creep the right knee up in front of the navel. Come all the way up standing. Good. Grab your foot with both hands. One hand. It can even be your thigh. Listen, if you've never done this, this is freaking hard. Let's say thigh or foot. Okay, stand. Good. Right leg straight out. Pull the leg back. You can even do a forward fold here. I'm not very steady in those yet. Okay. Left arm up to the sky. Right leg back, dancer. Push the foot into the hand. Get familiar with the muscles of the front of the leg. Lean forward. Make a beautiful little back bend. Good. 
right leg down, left arm down. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, down to the floor. Lengthen your spine, take a moment. Re-lengthen again. Refold again. Bend your knees, jump or step back, plank. Keep your booty up. Don't let it, don't your, lo your lower back sag when you go through those jump backs, you guys. Chaturanga, you're gonna be push up. And then downward dog, you go. Good. Smooth out the breath, check back in. We're making so much progress and you're having so much fun, you don't even notice you're working. Right leg to the sky. <laughs> Good, right foot in between your hands. Left leg to the sky, standing splits. Nose down towards the knee. Left knee up in front of the belly, come to standing. Grab your foot or thigh, plug it in. Left leg extends again. Navel tight, Kegel in. Spine lengthen, shoulders down. Forward fold over the left leg, go slow, we're gonna take our time with this one. Good. Relight in the spine, get tall. Hold on to the left side of your foot with the left hand, bring the right hand to your hip. Open the left leg out to the side, externally rotate both hips. Externally rotate both hips, which means meow, meow. there you go. Good, Tessa, that was good. Left leg comes back home to the front, switch. Right hand holds on to the right toe. Left hand to your hip, turn your back, keep your hips forward. Left hand shoots behind you, hold. Keep pulling the leg in, get strong through that booty. Left hand comes forward, re-bend the knee. Forward fold with the foot, let it go. <sighs> Inhale, halfway, step or jump back, chaturanga. Another one, yes. <laughs> Inhale, lift it up, zip up your energy. Ah, oh, keep your shoulders chill, downward dog. All right, smooth out your breath, check it back in. Left leg's up, here we go. Left leg, turn on, lift it to the sky. Left foot in between your hands. Right leg goes up to the sky, lengthen. Nose below the knee. Stabilize through the left leg, and the right leg is just as strong. Good, transfer weight forward. Find your spot to stare at, to shift onto the left leg, right foot up. Right knee up. Right leg out, extend. Belly tight, don't jet compromise your spine. Forward fold, nose below the knee, just like you did in that forward fold just now. Re-stand up. Left hand to the hip. Externally rotate, right leg. Right leg, externally rotated. You got it. Take a breath, good. Nice, Tessa. Good, Kara, bring that hand all, or bring that foot all the way back. Hold on to the foot, right hand to the hip. Turn only the upper body this time. Pull the leg in, right arm opens up. Remind me to throw this yoga mat out when I'm done. It's like moving like popcorn. Right hand to the foot, right knee up. Whole body folds over with the right foot. Let it go. Good. Okay, now stay here. Widen out your feet pretty darn wide. Bring your left hand down between your feet. Take your right hand behind the left arm, grab your ankle. Bend the left knee if you can't reach it. And then twist to look under the left armpit. Start to mobilize your back. Good. And then release, switch. Right hand down, left hand to the right. I'm sorry, left hand, right ankle. Yeah. Bend the right knee. Mobilize and turn. Dip the left shoulder down. Yep. Good. Both hands come down again. Heel toe the feet. Under, I'm not under, behind the wrists. Lower the hips. Chair pose. Chair pose. Navel in, tailbone is tucking forward, shoulders relax. Mountain pose, release. Ah. Inhale, we come all the way back up, palms meet at the top. 
Meet through the center of the heart, all the way back down. Lengthen the spine halfway forward. Step it back or jump back plank. Chaturanga, elbows over wrists. On top toes, up dog. Navel tight, kegel in, downward dog. Okay, we're gonna jump both feet at the same time outside the hands. So gather energy in your hips. Feel like you're on a, a what are those called? Trampoline on your feet. Navel tight, gaze comes forward, jump. Stay low. Yep, and then jump all the way back. Plank. Good. Or a downward dog, my back. Again, gather energy from the knees, up through the hips, jump outside the hands. Now this time what I want you to do is keep the hips slightly more elevated than you think they should be to keep the hip strength and the hip integrity. Okay, jump back again, downward. Keep the hips high, here we go. Bend knees, gather strength, jump forward. Good, okay, we're gonna come up with the hips even with the knees, I don't want them lower, even. Right hand to the right leg, left hand to the left leg, horse stance, pelvic forward, knees wide, like we're football players. Elbows, cactus, keep pressing those knees wide, hips and knees, one alignment, hold. Right hand to the ground, outside right heel, left hand overhead. Keep those hips working. Belly tight, lift back up, horse. Left hand outside, left heel, stretch it out. Back up, horse. Hands to the floor. Hips go low. Heel, toe, and walk, or heel, walk. Heel, toe, your feet together. Lower down, hands behind your butt to your green rim. Okay. Open your legs wide, straddle it. Press your legs, knees in the same direction of your toes, meaning up. Walk your legs, uh, I'm not sorry, your legs, your arms forward. Lengthen your spine, pull the navel in. Get deep in the groin. Some people can come flat. If that's you, good for you. Some people can do tortoise. What is tortoise? I'll show you, Jojo. I can see you looking. Right arm goes underneath the right thigh. Left arm goes underneath. I cannot do full tortoise. I have to keep my knees bent. And some people can really scoop, scoop, scoop and come flat. So that's tortoise. Okay, walk your hands back up. Oh, bring your legs together. Sit up nice and tall. Hands behind you. Okay, you know what? I need, we need some twists. Bring your feet in, knees left and right. Just let that go for a second because that low back needs to be safe before we keep going with these next things. <laughs> All right, let's start with the right knee up. Left heel underneath the right booty. Sit up nice and tall. You may not necessarily need it under there, but I think it's a good starting point. Left arm wraps around that right knee. Right hand behind your hip. Sink both sit bones into the floor. Keep your left chest outside of your right thigh. Look behind you. Maybe even look to the opposite corner of your gaze. Good. And we're gonna come back to this side. But for now, switch. Bring your right arm around your right knee. Left hand behind your head, rotate. If you'd like binds, right arm inside the right thigh. Dive forward. Get that knee right beside your shoulder. So kind of make yourself like a little tiny ball. Yeah, navel tight, pelvic kegel, right arm to the right hip. Left arm goes back. Maybe you can grab your left wrist or it's just fingers. And then once you've got that bind, see if you can forward fold a little deeper to pull that right knee even more in, lengthen your spine. Good, release the bind, belly tight, come back to center. Go back to left arm, outside right hip, and try to get your left shoulder outside your right knee. So there's gonna take some wiggles here. So kind of work with it, maybe lift up right on top of your left heel. And then you can get that shoulder right outside that right knee. So I'm pretty lifted here, you can see that. I'm not my butt's not on the floor yet, now it is. Now it's on my left heel. And then bring that shin, the left forearm, to wrap around the right shin. Turn your left chest outside 
the right thigh, binding now my fingers on the inside of my right thigh. So if I can creep, and I want you to stay there for six breaths if you get this guy. So I'm gonna kind of cheat. There we go. And six breaths. After six breaths, you're going to gently release that bind. Come back to forward. Let the left leg go out wide. Let the right knee come down. Yeah. Left hand to the right knee. Right arm goes up. Reacquaint yourself with your back, with your skeleton. Reach over the head. Find the outside of the left foot. And I literally want you to try to lay down on your left inner thigh. Lay your left shoulder on your left thigh. Spin the body open to the ceiling. Even the left ribs. So any of this stuff, you can use a stretch, by the way. Good. This should feel really nice, by the way. Good. Release. Come all the way up. Here. Next, yes, come meet you guys. Okay, we're going to bend the left knee again. Did I say that right? Bend the left knee again. Yes. And put the left heel underneath the right booty again. Not under it. Keep it actually slightly ahead of it. Okay. Now I want this right arm. My right knee is bent, so I hope I, I want to be clear. Otherwise, we're going to all be on different pages. Okay. We're going to bring the right arm underneath the right thigh. Yep. And then I want you to forward fold. Take this left hand. Maybe even grab your yoga mat. And just keep folding like a little ball again to kind of get that shoulder and knee in that same little bubble. We're all familiar with bubbles right now, yeah. So you can even hold on to your right ankle with your left hand, and then left arm goes forward. Just kind of see where you go. Turn towards the right knee. Good, okay. And then I want you to take your left hand and bring it to the right outside of your right foot. So you're holding on to it. Take your right hand now and creep it to the right. So keep walking that right arm away from you. Lengthen your spine, squeeze the knee to the arm. Good, keep the knee bent and now extend the spine up. Don't lift the leg straight yet. And then you're gonna see, this is really hard. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna first work with the back. So kind of rock forward and back. And then we're gonna see from this lifted spine, you can still forward fold, see if you can send that right leg up. And look to the left. Cheese. Six breaths. Full compass. Good. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Okay, turn your head back and forward. Rebend that right leg over the shoulder. Yep. Bring that right hand that was just hanging out on the floor. Bring it in front of the left ankle. In front of the left ankle. Press into it and squeeze your right shoulder with your right leg, kind of like a nutcracker. Place your left hand right beside the left knee. Actually, in line with the right hand, but outside the left knee. Begin to lift up onto your hands. Your butt is up, your left shin is supporting you. So I'm just here for now. Okay, now squeeze your hips up, press through your left foot, separate your legs in opposite directions, and transition, flying lizard. Right leg goes back, chaturanga, Woo. up dog, and then downward dog. Did anybody get it? Kara, how was it? I can't, <laughs> no. I want to watch on this side, you guys, because I know that, you know, I've already done this. So I want to play. Okay, so I'll go slower. <laughs> Knees down. If you guys want to turn your mics on, I mean, you can ask questions, y'all. All right, here we go. Other side. So first we go with these nice little twists that I love. So right heel underneath the left butt cheek. Joe, you got no lights, your power went out. What happened? <laughs> right arm hugs the left knee. Left hand behind your butt, turn. And this should feel really good after we just did that. You don't have to turn them on for me. I'm just being annoying. Turn and look at the opposite corner. Squeeze your thigh in. 
Okay, and then we're gonna twist it the other way, left hand outside or inside the left knee. Turn to look behind you. And then we go for that really cool bind. So we dive forward. And you can even lift your butt. It's, it doesn't matter. As long as you land in a place that supports your whole body and you can keep your core strong, it's fine. Okay, wrap the left arm around the front of the shin. Grab your left inner thigh. Right hand goes to the low spine. Maybe you find your wrist, maybe it's just your fingers. And I want you to forward fold in this one because I want you to get familiar with that tight ball that you're gonna need to do that transition later. So we're doing the forward fold to go lower, navel tight, kegel in. Good. Release the bind, please. Come all the way up. Okay, now we're gonna do right arm, outside left knee. I should face this way. Right arm, outside left knee. Again, try to get familiar with the knee shoulder alignment. So again, if you need to lift your hips up, that's okay, or sit on your left heel. Turn, poke the right chest outside the hip. Do you see how I did that, Tessa? So I'm sitting, my left booty right on top of my right heel. Left booty, right heel. I switch sides. And then that right arm literally wraps around the front of the shin. I feel like I'm playing twister. I know you guys, it's hard to see the visual. Left arm goes behind my back and I find the hands. And I'm looking behind me over the left shoulder. Good. Take six breaths. And release the bind. <sighs> Come back forward. Right leg goes outside, wide, half of a straddle. Left foot into the right thigh. Lengthen through the sides of the body. And right hand to the knee, left arm high. Literally lay on your right thigh. If you don't get there, listen, you go where you can. Just see if you can open up the back. Navel tight though. You need to protect your QL, which are your stabilizers on the left and the right side of your low back. If you don't engage your core, it's really easy to overstretch. And then again, we lengthen, come all the way up. <sighs> okay, bend the right knee. Right knee is pointed up. I'm gonna face this way. Um, I'm sorry, right knee is down, not up. Okay, I hear children coming, I'm sorry. You might get interrupted by me. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. So now we're gonna do the left leg. So we're gonna bring the left arm, the right knee is down, right foot is kind of in that half straddle position before. Bring it underneath the left leg. Yep, and then you're gonna keep going. So keep walking that hand. Yep, walking it forward. Kind of fold down as much as you can to get your, your butt out of the way is what you're doing. And then you want your left fingertips kind of supporting you here, or you can go flat. For me, I need fingertips. It's just the way my arms are because I'm naturally forward, rounded in my shoulders. Grab the outside of the left foot with the right hand. Sit up. Once you're mostly up, you can walk the hand closer to your left hip, the left hand, and then extend up. Look under the right arm. And I'm gonna pause there for a second. Nice, you guys. So this is hard as hell, by the way. Okay, this isn't easy. Okay, release it. Nutcracker again, that arm. Uh-huh, left leg, nutcracker's the left arm. So this is that really cool transition. Bring your hands down, kind of under the shoulders. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, uh, left hand has to be in front of the right ankle though. That's the cue. Otherwise, it's, it's hard to lift up. Lift up onto the right shin. Lift up onto the right shin. Left foot is just hanging out. If you need to adjust again higher, you can. And then make your way. So the elbows will bend 90 degrees. Left leg shoots up first, then right leg. Then left leg back plank. Shattering. It's freaking hard. And downward dog. Okay, and then you guys, um, if you wanna try it again, you can. So, I really, if you guys want to do this, it's <laughs> like you've lost your mind. If you have any questions though, think about what you just did. 
because if you're going to practice this later, it's kind of, you know, it's a lot, but I'm recording it so I can send it to you after. Lower your knees, relax. <laughs> and hips back, child's pose. Just wag your tail or maybe walk your arms to the left and right corner. This time always goes so fast. I cram in like an hour into these 45 minute ones because I know we all have things to do in the evenings. But I do wanna take a moment to release that back, okay? So go ahead and make your way onto your spine and grab your two tennis balls if you had them. If you didn't have tennis balls, you actually could just bring up your yoga mat really tight and that we can make that work. So once you're on your spine, Let's start with the 10. I'm gonna skip um, some of the upper back. I want you to go right into the mid rib area. So lift up your hips and go mid rib, meaning like, so it's lungs, heart, liver, kidneys, okay? That's the organs in the back. So we're kind of um, kidney, so below the heart, underneath rib, like low rib, okay? So you're framing your spine, or you've got that yoga mat kind of rung up pretty tight. And then I want your feet wide and knees together. And now I'd like you to shift your breath to an inhale of maybe three and an exhale of maybe six. And just relax that area of the spine that we just tenderly worked. And then I'd like you to make the right knee collapse all the way down towards the left and let the left leg go out just a tiny bit. The left knee go out. And you're gonna feel a little bit more tenderness to that left side of the body at this liver area. So after a class like this, your liver tends to get, okay. The emotions tend to get intense we are, if you're taking a class like this, you like to be accomplished. You have an intensity and a competitive edge to you, right? Go ahead and switch sides. Let the knees gently fall to the right. So we are giving that attention to tell the nervous system, okay, the competitive time is over now. It's time to relax. So that we know how to kind of go through our dimmers of our energy, high and low, or find somewhere in between, hopefully. Lift the knees back up. Okay, and then go ahead and lift the hips again. And now I'd like you to go right to the curve of your natural curve of your spine. And now we are at the true uh, kidneys. So we just left the liver. In between the kidneys and the liver are your adrenals. So these are gonna get lots of attention as well now in this compression. So I want you to just hold here in the curve of your spine, close your eyes. And allow your body to literally melt around the balls. So when you give the attention to the muscles, to the fascia, uh, the superficial layer, right at the outermost surface of the body, you are easier to, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't wanna say come back, but your ability to heal is faster. Let's say it that way. Your ability to heal because you're bringing that fluid back into these muscles that have gotten really tense so that they can revive. So think about, um, before I keep talking, bring your right knee into your chest slowly, very slowly. <laughs> and then bring the left knee into the chest as well. Your booty may or may not come off the floor. It depends on your spine. So think about as we age, the collagen in our face, when we're really young, it's nice and moisturized and plump. You press your finger in it and it pops right back out. And as we age, we lose that, that rejuvenation that, um, I don't wanna say health, but that ability to bounce back as quickly. So we are doing to the body similarly that these fancy moisturizers do to um, boost collagen on our faces. So it's really good stuff. And I know Joe, you know a lot about this stuff too, which is cool. And then go ahead and bring your, and of course you guys, if I misspeak, speak up, fix it. Okay, bring your feet down, relax. And go ahead and lift up your hips, remove the balls, and take a nice shavasana. You definitely deserve it. So a class like tonight, you may not necessarily drip sweat externally, but internally, your organs are dripping toxins. 
okay? And I like to do things like this once in a while. I'm still learning how to work with them all because it's a very, it's a deeper practice. It's not so external or so superficial. It's not that dripping heat, but the amount of toxins you're, you're releasing out of the organs that I just touched upon is going to give you maybe even better benefits than just sweating like we normally do. So imagine you can see that. Imagine with each exhale, these organs that are now still and filling up with recirculated blood and all these other nutrients, reviving, rejuvenating, supporting your immune system to stay healthy and to carry you through your days. Maybe take a nice sigh out since we're at the end of the day, the end of the practice. And see if you can lift your heart up just a little bit. See if you can say, here you are. Good, and then take another couple breaths. Go ahead and bring your hands to your belly. Feel the breath, the belly pumping hard. Maybe a little bit of your pulsing of your heart can be felt. Then bend your knees to feel the bottom of the floor or the top of the floor with the bottom of your feet. And with caution, come all the way up to seated. Feel how easy it is to sit now from when maybe you first got here how much you feel the framework of your body. It's pretty cool. I feel very in touch with my bones, my skeletons, my muscles. It's pretty interesting. Namaste. I hope you had fun. I did. And I'll send it to you if you want it. Stop recording.